Russia recruits Ukrainians in temporarily occupied territories for war in Africa. The Wagner Group, private military company, has launched a large-scale recruitment of Ukrainians in the temporarily occupied territories for the war in Africa. Ukraine's National Resistance Center reported this. It is noted that these are men aged 22 to 50. If they sign a six-month contract, they are promised a salary of 240,000 rubles or about 2,600 US dollars. In addition to taking part in combat actions, they will have to work in the mining industry. Wagner personnel were deployed to Africa back in 2017. They justified their presence there with a sincere desire to fight American influence on the continent. Russia is known for its constant wars in many countries around the world and for violating international humanitarian law, which does not allow the recruitment of local people into military groups. Earlier, National Resistance Center said that Russians make an expedition to the African continent searching for mercenaries for war against Ukraine. The enemy conducts a recruitment campaign in Kursk Oblast, where they expect to enlist between 50 and 100 soldiers and officers to fill the so-called African Corps. The latter is being created as a replacement for the Wagner private military company mercenaries who operated in Africa but were redeployed to the military operation, the National Resistance Center said. Plans are underway to expand this force within Burkina Faso's borders. The primary focus of these mercenaries will involve training local residents and preparing successive groups of local recruits for deployment in the war against Ukraine. It should be noted that easy earnings do not exist and the price for their crimes is already rising in Ukraine. Over 350,000 liquidated invaders from the Russian Federation testified to this, but not personally, added the National Resistance Center. Recruitment of foreigners for the war in Ukraine continues, despite Putin's statements that the Kremlin does not need people from outside. Russia forces are recruiting citizens from Serbia and other Balkan countries, among others. Russian special services prepare new terrorist attack to blame Ukrainian partisans. Representatives of Russian special services are attempting to organize another terrorist attack. The goal of the provocation will be to further attempt to shift responsibility for it onto Ukrainian partisans and underground members, according to the Crimean resistance movement Atesh. It is noted that recently the coordinators of this movement have been regularly receiving messages from representatives of the Russian special services posing as local activists. They propose to carry out diversions in places of mass gatherings of civilians, the underground members say. The movement points out that the special services of the aggressor country are preparing a terrorist act and will try to blame Atesh for it. This is indicated in particular by a low level of indicators and an obvious systematic campaign against our movement. Moscow wants to mobilize as many Russians as possible with this provocation who will seek revenge for the Ukrainian terrorist attacks the resistance forces add. They have already created numerous fake Atesh accounts, falsified dialogues with our coordinators and provoked our supporters to commit terrorist acts, the underground members report. The movement also pointed out that the fake accounts are almost identical to their previous coordinators, but with an additional S at the end. A reminder, we are working exclusively against the occupiers, the modern Czechists, are ready for any crime. Remember who your enemy is and do not forget that we are fighting for common freedom. The partisans emphasize. Recall on March the 22nd, in the Russian town of Krasnogorsk in the Moscow region, several armed men opened fire in the Crocus City Hall. That same evening, hints began to emerge in the Kremlin that the Ukrainian side could be involved in the terrorist act. One person died and several people, including a child, were injured in huge fire that started in a home in East Boston on Tuesday morning. The fire that started around 5 a.m. at a home on Meridian Street near West Eagle Street spread to two other homes, according to Boston Fire Department. The fire department said six people living in the home and a firefighter were taken to the hospital. One of them had life-threatening injuries. Four other people were rescued from the building, and one firefighter suffered minor injuries battling the blaze. I want to share my deepest condolences to the family who has lost someone here this morning. It's incredibly heartbreaking to feel what the family must be feeling, and we will do whatever we can at the city level to support all those who are displaced or are going to need some time recovering in the hospital," Mayor Michelle Wu said at a presser near the scene of incident. The fire has displaced around 30 people. According to Boston Fire Commissioner Paul Burke, damage caused to all three buildings is estimated at around $5 million.